everything about FIFA 22 is kicking off. Back in June, the first closed beta took place. Following this, there were loads of leaks. EA then started to confirm information, and now we're at this current point. The good news is that there is still lots more to be revealed between now and the release in late September, beginning of October. This includes new tests taking place, which will involve random players being selected, as they will be able to get FIFA 22 early to play test and give feedback, and then EA will base changes around the feedback given. This will carry on going on until FIFA 22 is released. So in this video, I'm going to be breaking down everything that you need to know. Before I do get into the video, if you enjoy the content here and want to see a bit more from me, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. We was originally uploading trading tips every week, giving you the best and most efficient way in which you can make coins. Now we're starting to move on to FIFA 22 information. And once FIFA 22 is released, we'll move back to all of the different trading tutorials. So if you do want to keep up to date with everything FIFA 21 and FIFA 22, then make sure you are following the channel. And getting back into the video, it would be nice to wake up one morning, check your emails and see you have an email from EA inviting you to be part of a closed beta test for FIFA 22. For most players, including myself, this never happens. But for some of you out there, it will happen. Some of you will be selected to play FIFA 22 early and give feedback on the game before it's released in September. To have a chance of being selected, we need to run through a few things that you need to set up, what you need to do and how the beta will work. The first thing that you need to make sure that you do is to check that you have your email preferences set up so EA can actually send you emails about beta tests. For this, you'll need to go to your EA account. You could go through this over on the EA site or you can go through this on the Origin site. At the end of the day, it takes you to the exact same settings in your preferences. You want to go to your EA account email preferences and then there you'll see a little tick box which says that you are open to new EA services and news emails. Make sure this box is ticked. If this is unticked, then there's no way for EA to ever send you any emails about any types of tests or any other types of events coming up. Even though it is a very small chance that you'll be selected for testing, it is impossible for you to be selected if this box isn't ticked. Also, I'm going through all of this, there is some information that I'm going to blur out because it's my personal information. But for you guys, you'll see your own personal email address and you want to make sure that it is an email address that you are still connected to. And this is vital. We'll actually go a bit more in depth about this later in the video. The other thing that I like doing is going all the way down to the community playtesting. There has already been loads of players that's managed to get beta codes just with their email preferences turned on and not actually being signed up for this community playtesting. But still, I go through this anyway and make sure this is turned on for every single one of my accounts. That way I still get a chance of playing a closed beta for a future FIFA whilst also playing some of the new games that EA are about to release. If you do want to sign up for this, you need to go down to community playtesting, join the EA community playtesting, which will open up another tab there you'll need to sign in and just accept the terms and conditions. You'll be directed over to this page which shows you playtests which are available and you can select and you have playtests which you have already selected which are upcoming. Now as you have only just started there will be absolutely nothing there. But as time goes on throughout the year you'll get a few games added to this. It might not be FIFA 22, might not be any other future FIFA, but there will be other games that get added and it's up to you whether or not you accept them. Now doing all of this is still not guaranteed that you're going to be getting any codes whatsoever. It's still based on a chance. It does help if you have multiple accounts, which is something that we've been talking a lot about over the past month. It benefits you in quite a few different ways. You can create multiple accounts now, all of them being free as long as you have your Xbox and PlayStation set to your home console. That way you can still connect to PlayStation Plus or Xbox Live based on someone else's subscription which is already made on your console and you can have access to other games which have been bought under other players profiles. So if you already have a subscription to Xbox Live, PlayStation Plus and you've already got FIFA 21, you can then create as many accounts as you want. This is exactly what I've done. You can then claim the benefits of FIFA 21 by logging in every single day and just looking at the preview packs. Not every single one will give you coins, but there's a lot that will pay you a decent amount. You then have the benefit that you have multiple emails linked in to you having a chance to get a closed beta. It's still a slim chance, but at least you have a higher chance. And then you also get the benefit once FIFA 22 is released where you can just farm coins from every single account that you have. One thing to mention about these beta codes is that they're non-transferable. 
they are assigned to a specific origin account for access via your email. If you redeem a code to one of your accounts, which isn't the exact same email address, you will not get access. This also means do not try to buy any beta codes because it will not work. There has already been a few players trying to sell their beta codes and there will be more in the future as EA push out more tests for the game. But please do not buy them because you will not get access unless you bought the account as well. And even then it's still very shady on what you're doing and it's very easy for you to be scammed. So the best thing to do is just to avoid it. Another thing worth mentioning is that beta codes aren't just given to those that have played the most games. A lot of players think that these beta codes only get released to those that have put thousands of hours into the game, but this is not true. EA wants a mix of players. Yes, they will be looking for players that have a thousand hours plus, but they're also looking for players with just a few hundred hours, maybe less than a hundred hours. Those that only play Ultimate Team, those that only play Career Mode, those that only play Pro Clubs, those that only play Volta. They can even select you based on your demographics, such as where you live, your age, your gender. That way they're getting a mix of feedback based on a mix of different players. I know there's loads of players out there that think a closed beta test like this should be earned. You should be a good player with lots of time into the game for you to get access to a closed beta to give feedback on a future game. But we have to remember that EA as well as any other game company is trying to balance the game. So it's fun for those that have played the game for years, but it's also somewhat easy to understand for new players. So this is why they spread things evenly and get a mix of feedback from loads of different players based on how much time they put into the game or their demographics. So even if you have only just started playing FIFA over the past couple of weeks and you think you have no chance of being selected, well, you do. It still is a very small chance just like the rest of us, but you do have a chance of being selected for a future playtest if it fits in EA's testing criteria. If you are very lucky to get any type of closed beta for FIFA 22 or any other game for that matter, I highly recommend that you do not share content. If you are seen streaming the FIFA 22 closed beta, you will be banned. If you are seen recording videos using gameplay from the FIFA 22 beta, you will also be banned. Every single year, there's players using the beta codes to get an advantage socially by streaming over on Twitch or recording videos on YouTube. And every single time it happens, they are instantly removed by Twitch or YouTube themselves or any other platform for that matter. And your account gets terminated on that platform whilst you also lose access to the FIFA 22 beta. There is no way that you can win from this. Some have even tried to outsmart the platform where they create a completely new second account and they stream it or record videos there. But in the description, they move viewers over to their main account. And there have been instances in the past where both accounts have resulted in being banned. So there is literally no way around it, so don't even bother trying to do it. I've seen a lot of questions from players asking if anything carries over from the beta to the release of FIFA 22 in September, and nothing actually will. Everything you do in the beta is there for testing, that is the sole purpose. This isn't actually a time for you to play the game and start progressing through it. And that progression will then move over to FIFA 22 because it won't. Everything that you do on the beta is only on the beta. And as soon as that time has finished, everything will be wiped completely clear, ready for you to start fresh once FIFA 22 is released in September. The last thing to say is for the majority of us that do not get any of the beta codes and that will probably be 99% of us watching this video. For us players, we will be hearing loads of different leaks. Loads of leaks about certain features being overpowered. Maybe some things are good, maybe some things are bad. You'll be hearing loads of different things. And it's always worth bearing in mind that this is still very early on. Even though FIFA 22 is only two months away, there could be a lot of changes that are made within that time. A good way to see how much can change in such a short period of time is by comparing previous FIFA demos and the FIFA release, which is days or even weeks after you'll notice that there is a massive difference every single time from the demo and the actual release because even at this stage EA are testing and it's all about the balancing. Any feedback that is given in any of these closed beta tests will be used to make iterations where they'll test the game again. So anything that you're hearing right now that is overpowered will likely not be overpowered come the release. Any player ratings, gameplay features, art, UI, pretty much everything is still up for changing. So this is always something to bear in mind. But anyway, guys, that is absolutely everything that you need to know about the FIFA 22 beta. 
If you do have any questions, then please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. But for now, I'm going to see you.